So today I feel like pressure canning some white beans. I was only down to two pints left, so I figured it was time. So I got an assortment, some Brookshire's, some Camellia, Food Club. Been trying to pay like a dollar a pound, but that's getting hard to find. So these were these were $1.78. I don't know what I paid for the other ones, but I'm going to use all four of them and see how many jars I can make with them. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just wash the beans real good because they usually might have dirt or rocks in them. So rinse them. Then we're going to put them in a pot or boil it, and we're going to boil it. So let me get them rinsed. And at this point, we'll go ahead and put the beans in and we're going to fill it up with uh, a little bit of water too. Uh, just uh, I'll, I'll show you how, how, how much water once I get the, uh, the beans in the pot. Alrighty, so once you get them in the pot, uh, you know, I'll put a, about two, two or three inches of water on top of them. Go ahead and crank your uh, heat to high. And we're going to go ahead and bring this up to a boil. And once it's boiling, we're going to boil them for two minutes. Then we're going to remove them from the heat and we're just going to let them uh, soak for one hour. And then we'll drain them, then we'll get ready to pressure can. And if you see any, uh, any, any beans that float when you add the water or any beans that don't look quite right just kind of get them out of there it won't hurt anything but just make it look better once they are pressure canned and once you're boiling go ahead and boil it for two minutes and I'm, I'm gonna do it uncovered that way there's no chance it can boil over the pot and then uh, after two minutes turn it off and we're gonna let it sit for one hour Okay, so that been boiling for two minutes. At this point, we we'll just go ahead and turn the fire off. And we're going to time it for one hour. Just let it soak. And then we're going to drain them. Not rinse them, just drain them. And then we'll get ready to uh, start the next uh, part of the step. So the next step, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drain the beans. will fit and then we're going to put them back in the pot we're not going to rinse them we're just going to drain them and then we'll uh, put them back in the pot and we're going to cook it for bring it to a boil and we're going to boil it for 30, 30 minutes and there's my setup I just kind of put half in each one or so and like I said, we're just going to bring this up to a boil, and we're going to boil it for 30, for 30 minutes. And basically go ahead and uh, get them both to boil them. And like I said, 30 minutes, just on a slow boil. And then we'll jar them and get them ready to pressure can. So here's a few tips and tricks. Uh, zero to a thousand feet, you use 10 pounds of pressure, which is, this is 10 pounds. Basically, got five pounds, then you add the ring to it, then you got 10 pounds. Uh, if you're a thousand feet and above, you got to add another ring to make it 15 pounds of pressure. I'm in South Louisiana, so I'm using 10 pounds of pressure. Uh, inside the pot, there's three lines. Not real. I think the top one might be for a hot water bath. The uh, the next one is for uh, if, you, if you're doing longer than an hour and a half. And the very bottom is... Uh, for the standard one and a half uh, which is about right here but you'll see it on one of these sides there's three uh, indentions inside the pot so I, I put it to the bottom one and that's three three quarts of water uh, my beans are just about ready so I figured I'd start getting things uh, things ready here here's my quarts I mean my pints and I'm, uh, I'm starting off with ten I might add some more Got the bands, make sure your bands aren't rusty. Uh, make sure your lids are brand new. Uh, go ahead and I, I usually do it in the microwave. Boil you some water in the microwave. And then take your bands and I like to uh, alternate them. So down, up, down, up. That way they'll be uh, easy to uh, get out. And just like I said, just add them all to it. Then, uh, once you do that, 
Uh, I like to get my jars a little bit hot. That way there's no chance for them cracking. So I usually just get my tap water, get it hot as can be, and I'll add a little bit to each jar. And I'll do this right before I put the beans in. Uh, we only got about five minutes left, so I'm going to start getting everything set up here. So that's it. I got a little warm, a little hot water in each oven from the tap. Also in your pressure cannon pot, add two tablespoons of just plain white distilled vinegar and that'll make your jars not stain. They'll easy, be easier to wipe off and everything. Uh, otherwise they might form a film. I mean, it's no biggie, but it'll make your jars look better once it's all done and easier to clean. So that's it, almost ready to start. Got about a minute left for your pot. Make sure your the hole where you put your pressure thing on top, make sure your hole's open, just blow through it. Uh, also this little pop-up valve right here, Make sure it's tight. Just just grab it and, and make, make, make sure it's not loose. When I first got this pot, it was actually loose and it wouldn't seal. So it took me a little bit to figure that out. So that's about it. Just put your pressure ring, put your ring in there. You can put a little oil around it, but I usually don't. Uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do one of them. And then I'll, I'll get all the rest of them done. But, uh, so basically you got your jar this is your uh this is one inch so it'll get you close because you want to leave a uh, one inch of head space when you do it so just get your scoop of beans and put them in the jar and what i recommend is this is some i put up in in uh January of this year and if you can notice there's not a lot of liquid so I basically put too much beans in them which is fine they they'll still keep just as good but I'm gonna make these a little bit more watery so I'm gonna, gonna kind of stop right here where I starts to curve with the beans and at this point I'm gonna just add liquid and like I said this will get you close then you take your uh, your measuring tool we want to leave one inch of head space so basically when you put it in it should just be hitting the uh, liquid and it is so this time i'm gonna try them just like that uh go ahead and take you a uh if you're doing meat you want to use a little vinegar but i'm just this is just beans with no meat just wipe off the top like such then we'll get the lid If you want to add salt to it you'd have a, you'd have a half a teaspoon for pints and one teaspoon for quarts i don't like putting salt because uh i usually use salt meat when i cook beans so you add your lid to it add your band and fingertip tight uh i usually i find if you put it too loose air needs to escape when this is under pressure so i basically just hold the jar and you know just Tight as you can go with just, you know, your fingertips. You don't want to over tighten it. Otherwise, your, your lid will bulge. Then, then it's really no good. So let me get all the rest of them done. Oh, one thing I didn't show on the other one. Uh, you, you want to make sure there's no uh, air bubbles inside the jar. So just, just take the end of this or spoon. Just get all the air bubbles out. Yeah, like I said, just wipe wipe the wipe the lid. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to, to measure the beans with the liquid, but I'm, I'm trying to stop it where it curves. Then you just add the band, the, the ring, then the band, and like I said, just tighten them down. And I'm gonna try to I'm try to make them look somewhat universal, but there might be a little difference, you know, between them. But it'll be good. Ready? Got got ten of them done. Uh, make sure your trivet is uh, inside. You don't want the jars to sit directly on the uh, bottom. You want them to sit on that little trivet that comes with the pot. Uh, I'm not gonna pick it up. It's kind of hot, but it's just a little plate that fits in there. You can see it. So basically, we're gonna take the uh, jars at this point using our little handy dandy grabber, and we're gonna go ahead and put them all in. 
and I got the fire like on a medium about a medium heat so let me get them all placed Alrighty, so we can do 10 regular regular mouth pint jars now this was the bigger pressure canner I think the next one's up like a 25 quart or something like that you can actually double stack these pints but this one's not obviously big enough to do that so at this point we'll go ahead and put the lid on you notice there's a V here and there's a V here you line those V's up and you close it then you crank up your fire to max heat so the fire is on max and if you notice there's steam that's just starting to come out of that thing go ahead and lower your fire down as low as you can but continue to have just a little steady stream of steam coming out and you want to do that for 10 minutes Alrighty, after 10 minutes go ahead and put your pressure on it crank your fire up to max that's going to pop up and it's going to form a seal and in a little while this is going to start rocking when this starts rocking 75 minutes for pints and 90 minutes for quarts so and uh what you want to do is when it starts to rock you want to keep lowering your fire until it's barely moving you still want it to move but you don't want it going crazy because you're trying to conserve the water in, in the uh, pot you don't want it to all cook out so just watch it like i said when it starts to move just lower your fire down but as soon as it starts to move it's 75 minutes and that's about how you want the uh, top to be moving uh, a little bit less if you can but when you get when you try to get it too accurate it's, it's, it it kind of gets hard to control so i usually leave it about like that so it had been over 30 minutes probably you, as you can see the little valve finally dropped pull this off there's no steam coming out they say you're supposed to wait 10 minutes but uh i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and crack it and see what it looks like here uh just when you lift the lid i'd say lift it like this so if there's real steam it'll go the other way so so there you go go ahead and take the lid off and you, the beans are actually still you can still see them cooking in there you see the bubbles coming up through them so at this point we can take them off and we're going to put them on a, uh, a towel so let me get all, all of them taken out the pot and there you go had a little water on top of them i'm going to kind of just wipe off the water uh, then we won't form a film And at this point we're just gonna let them sit until they cool and we'll check the seal they say you're supposed to check the seal after 24 hours but i've never had one yet since i've been pressure canning that hasn't sealed so as long as the 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 top drops down when you when you press it it doesn't make any noise uh and you can actually hear them right, right now uh, uh sealing so looks like we did uh pretty good in this batch i, I don't see uh they definitely got liquid and the uh i didn't lose too much water so i guess i had them pretty tight uh i guess i had them tightened perfectly on the lids if you go too tight or not too tight you can lose a lot of water so i got water in all these that's how it look well there you have it that's uh pressure can white beans these will last for years um and I didn't lose any water in them. The water's still pretty much at the uh, the line I put. And uh, like I said, that's, they're not all exactly the same, but they're close. Like I said, that you just want to leave an inch of head space, but make sure you stop your beans at around right here. That way, your liquid, it'll still be liquid. It, it won't turn too uh, too solid like some of the, like the, the ones I put up in uh, January of this year. Uh, I think the beans expanded and took up a lot of the water so i added a little bit extra water this time and i think that's going to be perfect so there you go if you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thanks